Now, not many people would spend two nights in a cage outside, braving the Dunedin winter, just to make a point. But that's exactly what Logan Edgar is doing. He's the president of the Otago University Students Association, and he's protesting against the Education Amendment Bill, which would get rid of compulsory membership for university student associations. David Du, co-president of the New Zealand Union of Students Associations, joins me now from Wellington. Good morning, David. Atamarie, good morning. Why should membership be compulsory? Why should students be forced to pay? Mm. Well, student associations are an important part of the community and they're a core part of the tertiary experience. In terms of the current law, students have choice right now. They, can they are automatically members when they enrol, but they can apply to opt out. And students can choose through referendum what membership model they want uh, on their campus. The problem and the bill that, acted, that uh, Logan is protesting is that the ACT Party will want to make this uh, all voluntary, ignoring students' choices that they've made on this issue and really uh, threatening student welfare and their quality of education. Well, ACT says students are the only group uh, in society forced to join an organisation against their will, so this bill will just make the Student so Association a little more democratic, won't it? No, not at all. I mean, student associations are not like a club. The best way to think about us is we're a bit like a local council or government. So just as a student uh, pays a small fee, it's the cost of one textbook when they start studying in the year, you know, everyone pays rates uh, to a local council, and so the council can provide things that benefit everyone. And Act Spill is a bit like saying, I don't want to pay rates because I haven't been to the library or the park recently, or saying that I don't want to pay tax because I haven't been to the hospital. Um, so really that's the kind of thinking behind the ACT Party bill and students overwhelmingly oppose that. Okay, if this bill does go through and the service that you offer is as good as you say and as important as you say, won't most students join voluntarily anyway? I think one of the problems is the fact that uh, we all know students are quite financially uh, hard up at the start of the year and um, one of the problems is that uh, we're expecting students to sign up at the start of their studies when they are quite short on cash and they don't necessarily know everything that is on offer means that um, we, it will be very hard to find members and that's not a comment on the value uh, of services and representation that we provide. Uh, again, it, it goes back to the local council example. A lot of things everyone benefits from but it's not always immediate and that's why everyone should pay a little bit, chip in a bit, so that everyone can benefit. It's only fair and it's fairly common sense. OK, the president of Otago Uni's association, uh, Logan Edgar, is, has locked himself in a cage to prove his point. What point will he prove, do you think? Yeah, so what Logan is protesting is this bill that will make universal membership of associations voluntary. And the cage, the, the prison that he's in, symbolises uh, what students will, uh, will be under if this bill is passed. Students will be locked out of the student services, representation, sports clubs, all the new experiences um, that they can get through their association. Um, and the fact is that the Act Party bill, uh, that will undermine many of the things that students currently use, need and enjoy on their campus. OK, what's the, what's the word uh, really on campus? What do students that you're speaking to think about removing this compulsory fee? I'm sure some would uh, support it. There are some, but actually the evidence shows that students and the public overwhelmingly oppose this bill. Uh, now, when this bill was open for submissions last year, over 5,000 submissions were made on this bill, and 98% were opposed, 98%. Um, so the fact is that um, students do not want this bill. It's a destructive and un unnecessary bill. And actually, the parents, universities, polytechnics, the community, Māori, and the list goes on in terms of who opposes this bill. What's your gut feel, David? Do you think it's going to go through? Well, it's very disappointing that National continues to support this bill. And again, what Logan is highlighting is the fact that National needs to listen to students and needs to see sense, uh, drop its support for the bill and stop rewarding Act uh, for its bad behaviour. So we would urge National to drop its support for this bill and kill the bill before the election. OK, David Du, co-president of the New Zealand Union of Students Association. Thank you very much for your time this morning. Thank you.